Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Wednesday. Well, today we're going to be working on this one. It's called Blooming Flower. It is a Joy Sunday wannabe. And it came from New Craft Day a little bit a while ago. So we're working down here in this yellow flower. Got my little bee needle minder. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Olivia. And uh, the color, the color, color, color is, I can't read it. Hang on, we'll get it. Put this over there so you can see. This has 54 colors, and the color that I'm using is 947. I can see the symbols okay, but I can't read the, the DMC. And it is a 14 count. So, yeah, why not, right? Everybody needs a challenge for the midweek. So, what is everybody up to? What are you all working on? You working on something fun? Didn't do much stitching last night. Yesterday was kind of a day kind of boring and then it got a little busy but nothing carried away busy but yeah I'm using two strands too by the way but uh, yeah it was mostly I sat there and you know I did what I had to do but um, it, yeah I just sat there and listened to my audiobook a bit so Still working on uh, my new Preston and Child. I just listen to it at work. I don't listen to it at home. So, it's kind of interesting. I like it. I really do. Then I came home at 9 o'clock or 9.30ish. And uh, I was up until midnight and went bed and could not fall asleep at all whatsoever yeah I didn't fall asleep until four o'clock this morning so yeah we're having fun now aren't we I'm telling you telling you let me pull this just a little bit this way so yeah I just thought I'd get this one out I haven't looked at it for a while so and it was just sitting there going, hey, stitch on me. Come on. Yeah, so here I am. So no grand plans. This is my Friday, so to speak. And we don't have an order today, so it should go fairly smooth, I think. So we'll see. But I'll probably work on a little bit more on Louisa Cullimore. That is the one thing that I did work on. But I didn't work on it for more than an hour. I don't even think. So. Still trying to finish that page. So I can go on to the the next page and get that one edge done so we'll see it's going right along stitching matching you know so I don't have to do any frogging yeah oh goodness but other than that not too much I do have some housekeeping chores this weekend that I need to do like scrub the floors but I'll do that on Thursday and that way I got three days to recuperate before to go back to work and mop their floor but their floor is very easy since we got that new flooring in it's very nice this needle seems to be working just fine this was one that came with the kit sometimes they're just a little bit too fat or something or the what do you call it the the canvas is 
thick in some ways. I, I don't know, but sometimes those needles just don't work out. So I end up going to a 28 count, or 28 count, size 28 needle that I use for my counted cross stitch, and I use them on the, I used them on the 18 and the 14 count, so. Oh my goodness. I put hand lotion on my hands last night, and now I'm all stuffed up. This happens every time. I'm better off if I start the day with putting hand lotion on. Do you have a problem sleeping when... Not sleeping necessarily, but it's stuffing you up if you've got hand lotion on your hands when you go to bed. I don't know, I've always kind of been like that. Nothing else really bothers me. Well, I can't say that. The, uh... Oh, those Glade plug-in things? Yeah. I can't have them on for very long. Or they just... Make my throat sore more so than, you know, stuffing me up. Can't use any kind of uh, incense. Because it dries my mouth out and causes my throat to hurt. So, every once in a while, like if I'm, it's in the middle of winter, I'll, I'll use one thing of incense. Like a stick of incense. But, usually I save that for the, the summer. I guess we'll go this way. It's closest. So, yeah. Fun times. Fun, fun times. And I don't use much for breeze around the house. But, yeah. That stuff has always just gotten to me. My mother used to be allergic to the scented candles. But I don't have many candles that I light. I just don't use candles. I use them for a short period, you know, like for ambiance. And then I'll blow them out. And then I won't light them for another six, eight months. It, it's just the way I am. But they don't seem to emit as much... Um, what do you call it? Um, of a scent for me as those Glade plugins. They're just something else. I realize I can uh, well, find the hole there. Uh, you know, put it on light or heavy, you know, scent. But yeah, I don't seem to think about that. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah, put that on. Yeah. Nope, here we are, sore throat, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I live and learn, but sometimes I don't really learn. <laughs> so I just keep doing it. I did get rid of all those wax melts. I, Oh, yeah, my daughter and I, we went, and we were at, like, Walmart. Oh, they're a dollar, blah, blah, blah. And I kept seeing them at the dollar store. and So I bought, like, 15 different ones, and, yeah, no. Not so much. Okay, let's see. We'll just go over here since we're about to the end. Come on. Really? Okay, fine. I always think I can go further on a 14 count. Oh, you dork. Fine be that way. Okay, that didn't work out so hot. Let's get us another thread here. We'll just start new. The way I thread these, hang on, is I get my two ends together down here. Then I come to the other end and my needle threader won't work on this 14 count because it's too small. I've broken so many needles, but I take the looped in and and 
well. Oh, come on. I did this 15 times the other night. What can I say? There we go. And it just kind of mush it in there. And it's threaded. And that way you don't have to put two... Uh, two ends in. Then you come through. Put the needle through the loop. And go to the back through the same one you came up. And you're in. It works so nice. I use the Jill Green method of getting my thread to one thread at a time. So, yeah, that works very well on 14 and 18. That was never the problem with the 18 count. At least I can see this. So I don't know if my daughter will want to go anywhere or do anything. I have no idea what the weather's going to be like at all whatsoever. We definitely need more coffee this week or today for sure. Oh, that's attractive. Just totally attractive. I went way through the wrong, wrong hole. So sorry. Back up. That's what happens when I talk and stitch at the same time. Just doesn't work. Ouch. No, I don't have my thimble on today. We're good. This is going really well. That 114 count I had, my goodness, I couldn't even get the needle through it. So I don't know if I had the wrong needle or whatever, but geez. This is not like that. This is pretty good. But I want to do a little stitch with me today before I went to work and get my daily stitching in here. But it seems like on my days off I can sit there for three or four hours and stitch, so yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And these have a smaller end on them than the uh, ones you get in the 11 count, um, you know, kits. So it kind of pokes you every once in a while. This part isn't pokey pokey. Stab your finger. Yeah, no. It's the other end that gets me first. Sure is a pretty color orange though. But I thought it would just show up well. There we go. Isn't it pretty. I think it's gorgeous. I like this picture. It was nice and it's small. And it's another one you can work on in the summer. Because it's not too big. Not too heavy. But I am the crazy fool that has the air conditioner running. And I have my great big huge projects out. Yeah. They're over there calling to me now. They're in their bags. They're going, can't, we can't hear, you can't hear us now. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. What can I say? Yeah, when I work on the small ones, the big ones call. And when I work on the the big ones, the small ones are calling. So, yeah, there's there's just no, 
no rhyme or reason. What can I say? But yeah, I'm gonna try to mop all the floors this weekend. So we'll see how well that goes. And of course, I have to do the taxes. So yeah. You know, I, I can find 9,000 things to do besides do the damn taxes. It's always so stressful. What can I say? Yeah. I think that's in there. So yeah, I'd kind of like to go for a drive, but I don't know what it's like up in the high country because, what was it, Monday? Might have been Sunday or Monday. I mean, it looked like it was snowing to beat the band at higher altitude, so I don't know how far down that road we could get. So we'll see. And the kids got to go to school all all week. You know, no more time off. I don't know which, when they'll get another day off. For like, I don't know, isn't President's Day th this month? We're in February, guys. We're in February. Unbelievable. It seems like it was just Christmas. Like, what, five minutes ago? My goodness. It'll be summer before we know it. Of course, that is a good thing, because I'm ready for warmer weather. Then I'll have to put my air conditioner on. Yay! Oh. Now there is a nice... I don't have to use my air conditioner much here. Because by the time I get home at 10 o'clock, it has cooled off down to about oh, 60 degrees or whatever. So I can turn it off. It's just keeping the heat out during the day. And I run a fan at night. Ouch. So, yeah, that keeps it pretty good. So I'm lucky that way that I don't have to run that air conditioner 24-7. But there have been some hot days, don't get me wrong. So, we'll see what this summer's like, since we didn't get hardly any snow yet. Of course, our heavy snow months are coming, like, March and April. It seems to snow more then than it did, does in November, December. Alright, guys, well, I think that's going to be it. I'm just going to... Really? Okay. I know, we didn't get much done, but we got one edge. I like this because it's in rivers. It's not as, what do you call it, as confetti. So, I think it's beautiful. Yep, gorgeous. Might need some outlining or something, but I'm not sure. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.